Oh, it's time for another math easy solution. Never discuss transcendental numbers and what they are. Well, I'll just write some properties of these numbers. Oh, well, basically. Alright, so yeah, basically, uh, well, one property is it, it can't be written as a root of a polynomial equation with integer coefficients. Uh, and a polynomial, uh, we'll just uh, write what this means. This is, let's say, so it can't be written as, let's say, you have f of x equals to a n x n, then this is plus a n minus 1 x n minus 1 plus etc etc all the way down to a1 x plus a0 yeah so it can be written as this where uh, a where ai is just basically uh, integers and you saw integers from my other video basically just whole numbers that can be negative or zero and and uh, see uh, this is written like this and the root is basically you'll have f of x equals zero and then you solve for it. So you'll have 0 equals a n x n all the way blah blah blah. And then you solve for x. Solve for x. And uh, yeah, and x is that's the root. Those are the root. So you can't be written as in this way. Uh, another property of it is that uh, it's irrational. Uh, and like from you saw from my other video, uh, you can see what irrational means from there. Yeah, and uh, irrational is basically if you have a, a number that, let's say, yeah, it d doesn't repeat the, the decimal place, and uh, yeah, it doesn't repeat, and it's infinite. Uh, example, the uh, pi is equal to again three point one four one five, etc. And it, there's no uh, pattern either, and no pattern. So this, b yeah, and you can see more um, on irrational numbers in my other video, and uh, basically, but not all irrational numbers are transcendental numbers for example let's go with uh, square root 2 this one is um, irrational this one's actually if you put in a calculator yes yeah, so you put in a calculator you get that's 1.1412 1 and uh, etc but this isn't transcendental because uh, this could actually be written as a root of a uh, polynomial equation so this is irrational there's no there's no pattern goes infinity except you can write this as uh, the root let's say we'll have f of x equals x squared minus 2 and then if we set this to 0 so we'll have 0 equals x squared minus 2 and solve for this we get x squared equals 2 and then the x is equal to uh, plus or minus square root 2 or yes yeah, so then you'll have square root 2 and negative square root 2 so this is a root so then it's not transcendental so it's not it but it is irrational but it's not so that's basically um, that's one way of looking at and uh, another way of uh, well basically you could uh, it's, it says here yeah it, it can be written as the root of a polynomial or you, or you could just say that uh, it can be written as a sum of algebraic terms so it's, it's so that this is where the, the name transcendental comes it's uh it transcends algebraic terms so that's kind of what it means so it, it transcends our just regular algebraic algebraic numbers and uh and and, and note about uh transcendental numbers it's uh it's very hard to prove transcendence yeah, it's very very hard to prove it there's only a few numbers that have been proven uh, the most famous uh, ones are uh, pi and e let's say e to the 1 or e to the a where a is not 0 and it's uh, I think it's integer integer but not 0 something like that but um and to prove this it's very hard to prove it I'll, I'll actually prove it in another video so I'll, I'll prove it later in another another video. So it's it's very hard to prove the f uh, to prove a transcendental numbers, but there are there are actually many numbers that are have yet to be proven. But I'll I'll show you this in another video. Well, this is uh, basically 
Yeah, well, th yeah, this is basically transcendental numbers, what they are. It's just, uh, it's irrational, but not every rational number is transcendental. And, uh, yeah, it can be written as a poly root of a polynomial equation or sum of uh, algebraic terms, and, and then transcends and whatnot. And E and pi are transcendental. I'll show why those are transcendental later in another proof, because it requires a bit, a bit more than just uh, this. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for another math easy solution.